T.Y. T- the man, the, whoever was just in that little police room right there. Oh no, no, oh no, no. Fax said he got him. He he just DM me right now. So Fax, Fax hit me and said, "Yo, we got him too for tonight." Like obviously, I wanted to talk to you, but I didn't know he could fi- find this nigga. First, of all, I don't even know this. Well, clearly, this nigga probably know about some type of technology. He said I could do a Facetime. He probably know a little bit more about technology. But uh, apparently, he's he's gonna come on tonight. Yo, tomorrow night, we we gonna have a YSL member on here. Yeah, which I, one? Mondo coming on. Yeah, and and, I, and apparently he coming with some facts. I would love if he could be on here with me. Ain't he the one that just gave an interview with the homie that was next to him snitched? This is what we gotta ask about. Oh my god! Okay, let me know because I'll yeah, get no, all the, all no. The I, I need I need you for this because here's the thing. Let me tell you this. And you, you know, y'all was having a great conversation. So I, I'm having a conversation with like an industry friend. They watched the video where, where, where my chat queen was talking to you, and they were agreeing with her, right, a little bit. And I said, "Yo, listen. Well, you gotta hear. Here's here's the thing, though." And of course, I love my audience. I love my chat queens. They're amazing. But I said, yo, I said, here's the thing. And they brought up one thing. They were like, oh, he's white. And I said, yo, y'all got to stop with the race thing. I said, yo, the motherfucker has been, he's, it's not like he's never been to jail. I said, if it was Trap Law Ross, I get it. Like, no disrespect to Trap Law Ross. I fuck with him. But if it was Trap Law Ross, I get it. But this is a nigga who comes from that. I used to get, and I, and I thought it was valid criticism when people were like, well, I, you're talking about certain street elements, you've never been in the streets, got you. I think when people try to use your race, I think it's bullshit. I think you've been behind the walls. It's It shouldn't be, you know, I told, I asked him, I said, remember when y'all niggas used to tell me, let the streets handle the streets or leave the streets in the streets? Well, this is a nigga who was in the streets now. Speaking on street shit, what? Why the fuck now? It's a matter about race. Anyway, me and him we had a good conversation. I'll tell you about it later. Um, yo, you know what development I got for you? What's good? Boston Richie's people reached out. We had a what good conversation. They said, "Act." They said, <clears throat> and, "And you gotta, you probably gotta update me because maybe I'm, I'm missing something." Is, is there a few? Th- Pay uh, a few things you were missing in terms of documentation type of shit, because <clears throat> this is what they call me to tell me, right? And, and I'm gonna I'm telling you the entire nature of the conversation. They said, "Yo, well, they said what's frustrating for them is that they're realizing there are there are street dudes and they can't beat the internet." They say you're. They said they feel like you're going against them because your reputation depends on this and you've become the guy who if you say it is this people are going to believe it and they believe that you have gotten it wrong but you won't clear it up to clear their name because you're thinking about your reputation and that's their whole disposition right <clears throat> you, so, you you can you can use the screen right in front of you though right yeah of course yeah you wanna you wanna go on something for me real quick, just just so we can I can just you know. Wait, wait, all right, hold on, wait, wait. So, what what I was gonna do, um, what I was gonna do is that I was gonna bring in, I was gonna bring up the um, they sent me documentation. They said, yo, Jake said, and you gotta tell me if you did say this. They said, well, Jake said, the only reason why they um, he he can't a hundred percent um show the facts about. The snitching shit with the juvenile shit is because they don't have access to the records. They sent me some records, my nigga. I guess that's what I was going to put on the screen. So they sent me actual, I don't know what the fuck this is. Maybe you would probably know this is why I needed you here. Um, I'll pull up one of them first. And this is like, I don't know what the fuck this is, honestly. So this is why I'm glad you're here. Because I literally... Just kind of don't know what this is. Let's get into it. I'd be mad, honestly, bro. Like every time Boston Richie pop up when I'm listening to songs and shit, I'd be having to change the song. I'd be like, <laughs> fuck. I really used to listen to his shit. You can't fuck with him? No. Oh, no. Oh, all right, damn. I, I used to be sliding listening to that shit. Then that happened. I'm like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. So, you know, not to give everybody a recap, but in the Boston Richie situation, as in the GTA case, this was a case that. Allegedly, there were some juveniles involved, but it was three individuals, right? Mm-hmm. And in, in in that situation, supposedly Boston Richie 
um, gave a statement that probably led to the arrest or whatever the case is of the other two individuals. And the other two individuals supposedly didn't do that. Right. And that's just essentially what snitching is. Correct. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So, and I think, I hope I'm representing this. And actually, let me, let me hit them because I told them, I said, hey, listen, this is their thing. They say they don't want to get on here and go back and forth with you, which I'm like, y'all know the case way more than me. Um, they're like, hey, we'll send you the paperwork. You can put it on the screen. Um, I'm going to text them to tune in, right? I wish they would just get on here and just talk to you themselves. But they're like, oh, they feel like you're looking for a viral moment. Oh, the back. With one, so you know, if they ain't booting up on their end, we're gonna. As long as I get my chance to speak and ask what I want to ask, we can get it done. Yeah, I, for whatever reason, they, they're feeling like, oh, you're trying to make your career off their name. That's what they they believe, right? And um, career, they, they ain't even know they name. It's only one motherfucker. Nobody else can name anyone in Boston Rich's camp. Well, so, so the person, I'll tell you the person, I'm talking to his brother. So his actual brother, um, his actual brother is the one communicating with me. And apparently he had to get the permission of Boston Richie to send me even this documentation. You know, I think you had some correspondence with him and I'll be I'm super transparent. I think you had some correspondence with him. I don't know what it could have been. They were also trying to get permission from Boston Richie to send that to me that that could be revealed publicly, that it could be, you know, they feel like it would help clear the name. Anyway, all right. And uh, um, So what I'm putting up on screen now, in that particular case, they say this is the proof that how could Boston Richie be a snitch if the people that were in the case with him were never convicted. Now I kind of looked at this, and I, 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 I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't really <laughs> know what was what, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Just hold on. like I got it right now. I'm about to. Uh, I was gonna make. I thought, go. come on, I, I thought you was gonna come with some motherfucking, some real like, oh no, we got this and this. They say how did he snitch because they ain't get convicted. Yeah, that, that, that's her thing. That's they're like, yo. All right, but but the motherfucking TY, whatever the fuck from Chicago talking about setting the store up and hey, I can I can do this and he ain't have to get nobody convicted. We could just watch that little video and hear everything we need to hear. You see what I'm saying? But how did they not I, th let me just see what papers you talking about and we'll really okay. break it down. I don't this is and, and I gotta make sure. Fuck, I probably should just blur it. I don't know if this guy still lives at this address. You about to make me pop a bottle. I'm trying to get lit like you. Man. Yeah, make sure you block the addresses, though, because they can fuck you for that shit later on. All right, fuck. How do I... Okay, okay. Either that or just scroll down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I'm, I'm going I'm to show one page at a time then, right? Um yeah. Do you know who the, the Jairus Bernard Robinson is? He's in. He's one of the guys, right? I think that's either the brother or the cousin. That's his family member. Okay. Um, so this is directly the paperwork they sent to me. I'm going to, I might, if you're watching, I'm not doing no fucking magic trick. If you ever see me take it off screen is because I'm trying to look to see if there's an address. I do not want to, uh, these guys probably don't live in those addresses, but I don't want to play around. You feel me? Okay. There's no socials on this page. There's only date of birth. Well, whatever. Okay. So just so y'all can see that. Whatever is real, this is what I'm looking at right here. So this is Florida Department of Law Enforcement. I guess Boston Richie's team had his lawyer pull their records, and they're trying to say, how are you calling Boston Richie a snitch if the guys didn't get, like, whatever, whatever. You know, they didn't get um sentenced to nothing, right? Do you know when this incident supposedly happened in GTA shit? Uh, I think it was the end of 2013. Okay, cool. So this is this is this guy's entire criminal record, which, by the way, this nigga was, like, no disrespect, he got to be in the street because you're going to do some, we're going to do some scrolling. Okay, all right, let me get it off the screen for one second, chat. I'm not doing no funny shit. I'm just scrolling down because it shows an address, and I, I, I don't want to do that. Okay, now we get to dates of arrests. 
and we make sure there's no address so on the second page i'm gonna scroll to and the third page neither okay. i'm gonna break this shit down so scientifically that's on time hey listen man you gotta break this shit down scientifically nigga. That's it's, on about, time. it's about to be fucking <laughs> surgical in here. For real. all right okay cool so again i have three pay i have three documents of the people so i, I know their entire criminal history supposedly um so you said it was 2013 right roughly yeah i okay, think it was roughly. the end of 2013 perfect okay so i don't know how old this guy is i could probably scroll up but i don't want to scroll past that address again um there's a 2009 thing there for marijuana possession um this was a charge and by the way just to kind of like you know we're getting really technical here this is a level misdemeanor and I think it should say like disposition, which usually what happens from the case. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Da, 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 da. Not applicable. The sentence was imposed. Okay. Okay. Final action taken. Adjudication withheld. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. You could probably Google it. Okay. Um, this is another crime. 2011. Okay. This is a felony. This is a GTA. Right. So this is GTA. Probably not the one you're talking about. Uh, if it's in 2011, but um, yeah, it was charged, blah, 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 da, da, da. let me see if we can find what happened with it. The sentence, uh, let me see. Yeah, I know, this is like really technical. This is like some really police shit, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, like if you're a cop or like a lawyer, you probably understand this way more than me. Um, sentence type concurrence. So somebody did some time, I would imagine. Oh, nah, here we go. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, contender. I think that means he beat that bitch. No, no, no. Final action, guilty or convicted? Guilty or convicted, right? So the charge, statue is grand theft of dwelling. A hundred, less than 300. I don't know what this means, but whatever. And then the sentence, I guess there was maybe probably more than one count. It says concurrent, whatever, whatever. Uh, da, 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 da. all right, cool. Oh, okay, okay. So there was a burglary charge too. So I, I guess like he probably took a plea. Probably they took the top charge and then everything else just went away type shit or concurrent, right? Uh, I want to get down to like the thing that you covered. So this is still 2011. So still 2011. Let's keep going. 2011. Let's go down. Let's go down. 2011, 2011. Let's get to. Yo, this nigga get locked up every year. He had a, a warrant out for him for failure to appear, which was a probation violation. I guess he, whatever, he got, he went to jail, got out, and then probably acting up, whatever the case is. Cool. Let's keep, keep going down. 2012. All right, all right, all right. 2012. It was December 27th, 2013. Okay, great. Um, there's a grand theft of firearm, which is the first. So 1, 22, 2013. Yo, this nigga is, this nigga is just a fucking menace every like six months. Yeah, All right. Everything. <laughs> okay. So let, let's keep going down. Let's keep going down. We got to find this, this thing. And by the way, I didn't really like go into it as much, um, before I got on here. So if it, I'm really in the process of trying to look for shit. Uh, I think we went too far, bro. No, we might have went too far, right? Eh? Because we're in 2014 right here. Date of arrest. Date of arrest. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Was he ever, like, free in life? I'm just... <laughs> okay. Um, the only thing I could see... So, 2014, I see probation violations. I don't see any... I see a grand theft of 300 or more, but I see this in in July. I think this is July 30th, 2014. I don't think that's what that is, right? I'm just scrolling down to see if I see anything that probably has to do with it. By the way, I should probably have just brought up, what's Boston Richie's real name? Because I have his stuff too. Uh, Jalen Foster. All right, let me just bring up Jalen Foster. My bad. Did they did they send you? Uh, hang on, because this 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 is really the one that I want to see. Okay. Uh, we could tell, bro. I, I appreciate him uh, sending that. That was cool. Did they send uh, Kelton Forbes? 
Kelton. Oh, I got it right here. You want Kelton Forbes? Let's bring him up. He's probably the interesting guy, right? Because that's uh, that's Coley. That's the co-defendant. Really? That's that's the one that said he got convicted. So that's that's the one that said he went to a, a level program for six to nine months. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, so they're saying that they beat the charges, and Coley's saying he got convicted and sent to a level program. Okay, got you. I, I don't understand how that. You know, By the way, be... what I was told, and maybe I shouldn't have said say this, but I'm gonna say it. Hey, they claim they have no affiliation with that guy, the Coley guy. They say they're not. They have no affiliation with him, and th they believe. He was truthful on the Say Cheese interview, but they 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 feel like him messaging you and kind of even alluding to snitching was some weird shit. That's what they told me. They said that was weird. They said that's not what happened. They said at least he kept it a hundred when he went on the fucking he, he went on the he went on the 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 the, the Say Cheese interview. They're not doing business with him. It's not one of their guys. Boston but, Richie ain't follow him on Instagram until after the say cheese shit. <laughs> oh, he follows him now? Now they acting like they don't know him? Come on, man. Oh, okay. Shit, maybe I shouldn't have said that then. All right, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, nah, 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 nah. Oh, shit. All right. Okay. Here we go. Here's a guy. Kelton Lamont Forbes. That's a guy? Uh, I don't know his middle name. I think that's... Yeah, the, Lamont yeah, Forbes. We, we, we got him right here. Um, chat, I'm a, I'm gonna take this off the screen for a second. Let me, I just want to see where the address is at, that I could make sure I skip it. Ooh, okay, okay, it's right there. So I can't scroll down. I can't scroll down. I just gotta go to the second page because it's at the bottom of the first page. The address. So this is Kelton Lamar on Forbes. Okay. They said they don't know him. <laughs> no, no, no. They don't say they don't know him. They say they don't, bro. They say they're not fucking with him like that. It's not like somebody who's like because. I was saying to them, it felt like maybe that's y'all man's now where y'all paid him off. You get what I mean? And they're like, yo, bro, no. Like, that, bro, that's, that's what's crazy is in the DMs, he telling me how people was acting funny because he wasn't fucking with Richie. And that's when he told me, how can I feel comfortable around somebody that told on me? All right, here we go. So this is his, uh, I can't scroll up anymore. If I scroll up anymore, we're going to see address and I want to see his address. So the the first time he's been arrested was 5-18-2013. Tallahassee uh, Police Department carrying a concealed weapon, right? Um, the charge resulted from arrests. Da -da -da, same as above, blah, blah. Let's see if we could get a what ended up happening. Oh, final action taken. Guilty, but he, he pled guilty to an unlicensed firearm. Not carrying so so the court charge was this he pled guilty to an unlicensed firearm. Okay, we see right here final, final action taken here, but but even then he got found guilty in 2014, which would be after the incident we're looking for. So let's look for when he got arrested again. So he got arrested in again in 2013. Damn, how often these things get arrested, bro? He got arrested in May, then three months later, so May. June, July, August. Three months later in August, he gets arrested 1st of August. And this was resisting arrest, right? Let's see, it's probably more charges. Resisting arrest, uh, obstruction. Let me see, is there anything else? Okay, 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 okay. All right. Final action taken, this was dropped. It was marijuana possession. Okay, so it was marijuana, and they claim he resisted. Fuck Jesus Christ These things get locked up a lot Then he gets locked up again In September And in September Is disturbing the peace Alright bet Cool and then it says charge status amended Which means uh, I'm not sure what that means But whatever uh, But it's a misdemeanor You're not really going to jail for misdemeanor Okay And then that's actually the interesting thing, though. Now we're in 2014. Yeah. So so after so 2013 here, and look, cycle five. So each cycle is a charge, right? Or an arrest time, uh, uh, um, arrest instance. It doesn't show. 
it doesn't show when they got arrested for the thing you're talking about. Which I don't know, which by the way, here's the thing too. So they're pulling this from, uh, I don't want to scroll up. Uh, let me do it right here. They're pulling this from Florida. If a record has been sealed, it won't pop up. Okay. Well, this is the thing, right? If this is if this is a juvenile record, because these years that it's going back to, they would have been juveniles. Juvenile records automatically get sealed, so nobody has access to a juvenile record except for the courts, law enforcement, and the actual person. So, if you were arrested as a juvenile, you can go and access that paperwork. No one else can get it. So it's automatically sealed because it's juvenile paperwork. The reason Boston Richie's isn't sealed is because he was adjudicated as an adult. So because he was on probation, they said, all right, we're going to charge you as an adult for this crime. And then all of his paperwork became public. So so why can't we find, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Why can't we find. This, this, this is what doesn't make sense, right? They're saying, okay, boom, we're going to send AK these papers that's going to say that he never got, we never got convicted, whatever, whatever. This shit's saying y'all never even got arrested. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, exactly. We, we right. understand y'all got arrested because y'all said y'all got arrested. So it isn't saying y'all got arrested or convicted. So can, can I, uh, can you go on this site so I can show you this real quick? No address will be shown, right? You're going to have to just scroll down a little piece once we get to where we get to, but I can walk you through how to get to what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. Do you want to send me a link? Um, How's the best way to do this? Like, I'll do, I'll do it. We could just on Google. It's quick. Just go on uh, Google LeonCountyClerk.com. Leon County Clerk. You can show all this until we get to the point where we okay. actually get to the, the details. Okay, we're here. All right, so leoncountyclerk.com and then once you get there, you're going to hit the uh, search records. Search court records. Search. Is it on the left? Search court. Nah, it's right at the bottom. Okay. okay. It's in the little square tabs. Oh, okay. Okay, so, okay I see it right here. Chat, right here. Search. Uh, Make sure I can see my mouse right here. Search. Okay. So search court records. Uh huh. I'm gonna scroll down. I'm not giving y'all the boss right now. So scroll down from here. Mm -hmm. Hit the robot shit. Now and then, go. all right. So click criminal name search under where it says that red. A little further down. Oh, high profile cases and. It says true civil or criminal oh, name okay. search. It's down. Criminal name search. Here we go. Bingo. No, 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 no. Down, down, down. Right there, right there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm seeing it a little delayed. Yeah, yeah, I'm I know, I know, it. I know. It's good. I get it. All right, so put in Foster, F-O-S-T-E-I. Uh-huh. And then put Jalen, uh, J-A-L-E-N. Uh-huh. And then hang on. I'm going to do this with you at the same time so we both on the same page. I hope they watch it because this is this really what's like – what I be talking about, you know? Because, like, if you can get them to take this shit down, I'll take the video down. So once we click search, we got a list of all the charges, right? Uh, wait, how do I click? Oh, okay, okay. I hit search right here. It's a little further down. Okay, okay. Yeah, right here. Oh, shit. Damn. So this is all of his cases. So if we scroll down to Grand Theft of Motor Vehicle, and God then you damn. go all the way to the right, and you hit that blue link. Wait, so, so, and again, what's the date on this again? This is uh, 2014. Okay, what, 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 um, month? So it's 122 2014, right? The file date is 122 14. That's when it became an adult case, though. It was a juvenile case in 13. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. Because it had to become an adult case. Down in Florida, you're going to do 21 days in juvie. That 21st day, they're going to figure out whether you're going to a program or whether your ass is going to county. He went to county. Okay. All right. Bet. Let me let me just for safekeeping, I'm going to take this off, but I'm going to click on that link. I'm gonna no, click. for sure. So once you do that, yeah, it opens up. Uh, you're shit. going to see a whole bunch of shit. Now, down at the bottom, well, towards the bottom, you're going to see the case shit. Uh -huh. So. The third one down, it says motion for jail custody. Click that PDF. 
Um, the third one down. Let me see. Wait, hold on. Grand Theft Auto. No, maybe that's. Did I click on the wrong thing? Are you in Grand Theft of Motor Vehicle? Yeah, Grand Theft of Motor Vehicle. Um, right. When you go down a little bit, it's going to show wait, the so That's one twenty two twenty fourteen, right? I right. click on the PDF, and when I go down... The PDF that says motion for jail custody. Motion for jail custody. Let me see. It'll say it to the right of where it says PDF. Motion for jail custody. Okay, 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 okay. I see it. Motion you got that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. All right, boom. So now from here, scroll down to... Can I put it back on screen? I can probably put it on screen. No, 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 no. Because this is going to have all the addresses. This oh. got every fucking thing in it. Oh, shit. Motherfucking okay. height. Motherfucking all that. How much they weigh. Everything. Yeah. Okay, bet. Fucking birthmarks. All type of shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, so you're once right, you get right. here, do me a favor and scroll down to page eight. Damn, this thing is on the fucking page. All right, bet. I'm on page eight. It I'm, says, I'm on this shit with you. It says National Standard Incident. Yes, sir. Okay, could I put it on screen? You can put it on screen because the address is here. Isn't nobody's address. This is where the stolen car was parked at. Okay, all right. Bingo chat. Here we go. So now we looking at the fucking unsealed juvenile affidavit. So if you just scroll down to the bottom a little piece, mm -hmm. so we just, just so the chat can see it, you on the official website. This is the Leon County Clerk. Right here, right here is perfect. Beautiful. It says, Foster advised that Robinson and Forbes knew that the vehicle was stolen. He said that they knew he had stolen the car. Da, da, da. Next paragraph, due to all parties knowing the vehicle was stolen and their actions depriving the victim of her property, Foster, Forbes, and Robinson are all charged with grand theft of a motor vehicle. What is there left to talk about? We got DJ Academics on the Leon County Clerk. Just type this man shit in, and this piece of paper pops up. So why is it they want to send all this other shit, but they don't want to talk about this one? Okay. I might have a response to this. I, as I said, I talked, I talked to his brother for a while. They said this. Well, and again, I'm playing devil's advocate. I, I, you know, I wish they could just speak for themselves, but whatever it is. Okay, cool. So they said, well, here's the thing. It really was no telling in, in this case because no one got convicted based on any statement or whatever or lack thereof, whatever. Hold on, hold on. And then secondly, they said when people think of snitching, it's like you got caught and you'd be like, yo, my man's in the bush over there. He did it with me. Go grab him too. They're like, hey, listen. This was a grand theft auto case, which means they stole a car. They said these guys got got either pulled over or whatever the case is, but they said all three of these guys got out the car. So it, it, it's it, it's not if they named or if they named each other or allegedly or maybe didn't name each other. It's like, bro, everybody was in the like they they arrested three people at one time. They took everybody out of the car and said, "Yo, the car is stolen." Right. So so so, so they're saying, bro. Number what one, what they're saying is going. I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I understand what they're saying because I talked to them on the phone too. Okay, okay, bet good. What the motherfucking paperwork is saying. Oh shit. And what the motherfucking law says. If I'm riding in a car with you and this bitch stolen, and I know it's stolen, and I tell the police it's stolen, and when they ask me, did academics know it was stolen? Nah, I didn't tell them. They not gonna charge you with grant that photo because you had no knowledge that it was stolen. I just admitted that it was stolen. I knew it. I didn't tell you. That's like if there's a gun in the vehicle. We get pulled over. Me and you, they find a gun. Police ask me, hey, whose gun is that? That's my gun. That's not academic's gun? Nah, it's mine. You're not gonna get charged with the gun. But if I don't say nothing, did academics know the gun was in there? Yeah, he knew. Is it his? I don't know. It ain't mine. We both getting charged with that gun. If the police pull me over and they say, hey, is this car stolen? Yeah. Does the academics know it's stolen? Yeah, he know. Did he steal it? Nah, he ain't steal it, but he know it's stolen. We all going down for riding around the stolen whip. 
So I personally don't give a fuck about no conviction, homie. Yo, two co-defendants didn't say nothing to the police. That's the fucking fact. It says it in this same piece of paper. It says they refused to make a statement. Yo ass wanted to make a statement. Let me ask you a question. And 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 um, so I have a, like again, I talked to them. I said, listen, yo, I got no horse in the race. I, I think I, I think ten ninety Jake is really credible. But I will definitely try to bring up the questions because number one, here's the thing: if 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 he quote unquote, let, let's say he didn't tell, right? I don't want you know, and I, I don't think you would want that either. Him to like you know be getting pressure for shit he didn't do. So I'm trying to just be complete fair. But you know, again, people have interests here, right? So you know, they're not gonna be like, oh yeah, he did tell. They're like even if he did, right? They're not gonna be like, yo, he did, right? Um, so they, let me see what was there. Because I talked to him and I tried to throw out different scenarios. They said, oh, this is what they said. Well, 1090 Jake is, isn't is like a lawyer or someone who's really that familiar with official legal documents. Because what we're reading, right, is the sworn test or not even sworn testimony. This is a cop saying this. And we all know cops lie. This is what he said. The brother. The brother said, well, first of all, a cop will lie and say that, that they smelled weed. They saw th some. You saw you threw something in the back. But if they can't prove it, and, and, and I think they said this specifically to me. Well, if Jalen Foster, which is Boston Richie, said that he... Um, if he if he made the statement, where is the proof that he made the statement? Because it could be a cop who just lied on Jalen Foster, which is Boston Richie. That's what they're saying. The cop lied. I mean, that sounds good, but this wasn't Boston Richie. This was Bussa. They didn't know who the fuck Boston Richie was back then. And for whatever reason, Bussa decided to give a statement. While his two co-defendants decided to not give a statement. So you can scroll up a little piece, right? We'll go we'll go to page seven real quick. Cause there's nothing on that that can't be shown on page seven. Okay. We can show the entirety of what we're what we're speaking on because this this is the type of shit that they avoid. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, all right, right here. Scroll down a little piece. Mm hmm I just gotta wait because my shit be a little late. Yeah. All right, boom, right here. So when we read this, I'm going to read it on my screen, though, so I don't got to see all the words and shit. Mm -hmm. When we read this, one of the, 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 the last, the third paragraph from the bottom, investigator da -da -da, drove to the area and observed Boston Richie walking away from his two co-defendants. He recognized Richie as the person that entered the vehicle on the other place and detained him. He read him his Miranda warning, and Boston Richie agreed to answer questions. He advised he was the person driving the vehicle Questions were stopped at this time, and he was transported to TPD for a continued interview. Investigators, da 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 located the two co-defendants walking near the intersection of Osceola and Holton Street and detained them. The investigator recognized one of the suspects as he was switching positions inside of the vehicle. They searched him. Neither Robinson nor Forbes would make any statement to police. So you telling me that they lying on Boston Richie but not lying on them? Is it not true that they did they, they did they really give a statement? Or they didn't give a statement. So we're gonna say nah, the police, yeah, no, no, no. They didn't give a statement, but they said I gave a statement. I didn't give a statement. And the police, we can't trust them. We're gonna trust y'all, bro. We don't caught y'all in lies already with this whole situation, bro. Y'all said nobody got convicted, but Coley is saying he literally got fucking convicted. Hmm. Your co-defendant came out and said it. I don't know what the confusion, how y'all gonna say, oh, the charges got dropped. His charge didn't get dropped. If y'all had paid him fast enough, he would have never reached out to me and told me that shit. We would have never known. Would have made them look so much better. But it's literally saying he gave an interview with the police. They transported him. He, he was willing to talk on the scene. They transported him. And he said what he said. Due to all parties knowing the vehicle was stolen, they were all charged with it, bro. That's snitching. 
It don't matter about nobody getting convicted. It don't matter if it got to go to fucking... None of that shit, bro. You told the police something that got your homie arrested. Two of them. And the paperwork y'all sent trying to disprove it doesn't even show y'all getting arrested. Which y'all said y'all did. The nice. whole situation was sideways. Hey, hey, hey listen. I, I'm trying to like remember everything I talked to him about. I'm like... I miss anything. Somebody said, "Man, take some boss Now I'm trying to get a response. Like, yo, yo, I'm, I'm trying yeah, but, to play but, devil's but, advocate, but, but, but this is the thing, bro. People think that I have a personal vendetta against Boston Richie, and I don't. Because if I did, I would have tried to make him look bad on all corners. This isn't the only time he spoke with police. Him and his father got hit doing robberies. And he was telling the police what was happening with that. He told the police, oh, I was just riding around with my dad while he did what he did. They ended up getting convicted on this shit. I didn't call you a snitch for fucking saying that on your father. Your father probably was like, hey, do what you got to do. I don't know, but I could have put that paperwork out. I read the case about when your father was beating your mother back in the day and y'all talked to the police when y'all was kids. I didn't put that out because hey, you supposed to protect your mother. But let's not act like you ain't got a fucking history of speaking with the police. Damn. It's in black and white. And anybody can go on the site that you just went on and look into James Foster or Jalen Foster and pull out every one of these fucking files. Oh, man. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. <laughs> Come on, now. Nah. And then, all right, it get even better than that. Yeah, you said that about no. your dad or the police for the robberies, right? But his fucking dad is the same one that got him questioned by the police for the murder. Because his dad was the one man, that told the police my about, the, about when the law came. Like, come on, bro. Your dad did the same shit. I've seen him do it. 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 <laughs> no, no. Wait, hold on now. Wait, hold on now. Hey, Fletcher Brown, thank you for the uh, $50 donation on YouTube. Yo. He, he, he's bringing up a good point. He said, listen, there's a reason why we have trials, 1090, Jake. The cop who wrote that document would still need to be cross-examined by Boston Richie's lawyer. He said, based on this logic, cops could create snitches with their pen. This is why all lawyers told 1090 he jumped the gun. So I guess it's going back into this thing to say, and I think this is what Richie's camp is saying too. They're saying, bro, the cop lied. He didn't say nothing, but a cop could basically write up an affidavit to get charges to stick or to get a search warrant, whatever the case is, because in those situations, it's the cop's alleged sworn statement that matters. It's not about what you said, and it's only going to come out what you said in court, whether it was a video or an audio. And, you know, this is a weird thing because this is a juvenile case. And, 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 and by the way, Chad, I, I, I got the, ten, uh, the, the, uh, the um, Boston Richie like defense on this one. And, and they said because it's juvenile shit, you don't, there is none. But they also say, hey, listen, th they said this to me directly, and I want you to answer this. They say, yo, they said 1090 Jake is grasping for straws. He is abandoned. The whole thing with the murder case because the audio came out and the audio shows him asking for his lawyer. His The audio shows he's not telling. The audio shows he's keeping it solid despite what you might hear a cop say, he said. Now they're only talking about the GTA situation where a guy who was involved with a GTA situation came out on Say Cheese and literally said, he ain't do it. So they're saying, yo, you're going you're you're going off the reputation of a cop and cops are liars. What do you say? How many videos did I make on this situation? Tell me. Just just one, right? Mm -mm. How many times did they hit you up with some new shit? So who's grasping for straws? At the end of the fucking day, no, and whoever just said that about taking it to trial, well, why didn't Boston Richie take it to trial? When they told Coley that they're talking about a lawsuit, 
Why didn't they file a lawsuit for defamation against the police officer if he didn't snitch? The murder case was an example of, okay, you a witness. You and your father are both witnesses in a murder case. The murder case is what Tuwa put out. What I found was the GTA case that nobody knew about until I found it. The GTA case is flat out. Oh, okay, they kept bringing that up to me, or, or his brother kept saying, yo, this all started over the murder case. They're like, yo, if, if they said 1090 Jake, because this is the first situation where an artist has reached out to you to look into their shit, you don't want to admit you're wrong, but... But um, this ain't, this ain't the first time though, bro. I don't spoke with YNW Bortland. I don't spoke with Track. I don't spoke with motherfucking Kevo. I don't spoke with a few people about different situations. The ones that robbed uh, the YouTuber that was a sex offender, I spoke with him. He sent me a video before he turned himself in. This ain't the first rapper I spoke to. This the first rapper that told me to look into his paperwork, and his paperwork was fucked up. Mm. This the first situation where that happened, where somebody oh so confidently said, "Yeah, look into my paperwork, and your paperwork look crazy as hell." Mm. So, let me ask you: so, Do you believe that without having any video, like you know? I think, I think um like T Y M B uh um I think his name Fei Fei I think he's even in here I think, you know I think um Fax had him in another chat for a second, um clearly he has you know like we have a video of him like bro, I'm gonna be honest with you, I want to see how this conversation goes, because I see <laughs> he say yo he didn't tell but I'm like bro if you didn't like 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 act, act, bro, you know act, you know what he said act. Uh, he said it's a misunderstanding. You know what Coley said? It's a misunderstanding. You know what the brother said? It's a misunderstanding. It's always a fucking misunderstanding, ain't it? The police always lying when somebody, oh, he snitched. Nah, he ain't snitched. They lied. It's a misunderstanding. So you don't, on, I, uh, explain that misunderstanding thing because I was a little bit confused by that too. Like, I can't explain it because I'm not the one saying it. I don't, I'm not misunderstanding shit. I'm reading the motherfucking paperwork and we got the paperwork. On your motherfucking screen right now. We can go over to DeAndre Wiggins case right now. We can go over to his father's case. We can go over to his armed robbery case. It's all right here. We can go on to the FLDOC site and show his prison picture. He did six months in prison. He got convicted for the Grand Theft Auto and he got convicted for the robbery with his dad. It's all public shit. I don't, I don't understand what the misunderstanding is. You're saying that nobody got convicted, but Coley is saying he got convicted. Coley said in DMs he snitched, but he said on Say Cheese it's a misunderstanding. Y'all still trying to clean house. I, I, let me ask you this question. Is there a... Um, is there any world where maybe... I'm not saying misunderstanding, but it might sound like I'm saying this. Where um, this is just not what it seems to be. You know, it's coincidence. I mean, do we have any other examples? Like, well, I guess I'm going off the thing where it where it says, "Yo, you know, everybody says, yo, gonna not a snitch if Thug don't say it." Well. Yeah, they gonna say, well, Boston Richie, not whatever, because the because co defendants say he's not whatever. Yeah, but those are the fans saying that shit are just random ass people or random ass celebrities or this and that. Like, it don't. Why do we need Doug to say anything? First off, and at the same time, to make a statement like that is crazy because for one, if Thug came out and cleared his name, that would look different, right? If Thug put a message out saying, hey, y'all fall back off, bro. It's all love, whatever, whatever. Even though we've seen the video of Gunna, if he said that, that would sway a lot of people in a certain direction. But Thug can't come out and say anything on the other side. He can't say he's a snitch. 
he can't confirm it. That would be witness intimidation. That is a whole nother felony charge. So when you got a motherfucker saying, oh, if Thug didn't say it, that person has no fucking understanding of what they're speaking on. Thug literally can't even say that. Because if Superstar Thug comes out and says he's a snitch and co-signs it, that's going to be used against him in court. Yeah. Oh, we feel like he's trying to get gun and touch. Or we feel like this is a witness intimidation. This is a threat. This is this. This is that. If you ain't ever thought about that, you don't know nothing about the courts. You don't know nothing about the streets. You don't know nothing about this whole fucking process. Them fans adding their two cents. If you want to rock with the snitch, he told you want to listen to his music, cool. But how the fuck you going to add your two cents? You don't even understand the process of this shit. Yeah. Just like dude talking about, oh, yeah, the police officer would have got cross-examined in trial. Most of these cases ain't even going to trial, bro. A simple-ass case like a Grand Theft Auto, he could have got 10 years for that shit. Boston Richie did six months in prison on a robbery, a firearm, a fucking GTA. Come on, now you did six months, bro? Fuck. Damn. I do... I do hold on, hold on. Wait, I, I do want to say this, though, because we got my man in the building. And, Jake, I'm glad you're here because you could, you could help me decipher this. Yo... T Y M B Fei Fei. I'm gonna play the clip and I need you to explain this, my brother. I see you in here. Let me play this clip real quick. Yeah, niggas, if I did, I promise I admit it, I'll take the blame, bro. I ain't trying to go down with it, bro. I promise like none of this shit missing. I ain't talking about some, uh, I stole the shit from six months ago. Some weed and shit. This nigga still got the stone in crack and I can show you a video of it. All right, she's selling drugs to the girl. I'm out there, bro. I can call him, bro. I'm gonna meet him. The same guy. Yo, TYMB, Fei Fei, bro. I see you here. Uh, my brother, you know, I, listen, this is a safe space. I'm a civilian, okay? I don't care if it's left, right, up, or down. You know, I don't want to see our black kings or queens incarcerated. Uh, I don't know if you know how to work Discord yet, but I just want to know what was going on in that situation, brother. Like, what 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 are we hearing? Facts, did you teach him how to use the shit? Yeah, yo, fake, fake, fake. You can talk, bro. <laughs> you sound like in the detective right now, yo. You, Yo, cut the camera off. We could. <laughs> you sound, yo, you sound <laughs> wild right now, yo. Hold up. Faith, Faith, Give me on, two bro. seconds. Okay, all right. Now, you could drag him to another call, kind of explain, because he probably listened type shit. We just trying to, like, you know what I mean? Because, you know, like, I, this is one thing with I realized with 1090 Jake. He really black and white with it. If it's, if, if, if it's, if it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. But sometimes I quack like a duck. I ain't gonna lie, one time I heard my dog kind of howl. It sounded like a wolf, but it's a dog. You get what I mean? So I don't know if it's, you know, like, like, yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out, you know, maybe he was playing mind games with the police here. This could have been the thing. Or maybe this is a deep fake. Maybe the cops edited this. This could be a voiceover. It was a misunderstanding. <laughs> nah, I ain't no law. It could be misunderstood. Like, it could be. Yo, T-Y-M-B, Fei Fei, we need you. I see you in the chat. Somebody said dogs are relatives to wolves. Okay. Okay, well, ferrets are relatives to, to you know what I mean, rats. Like, like what's, what's the problem? What the fuck? What's wrong? Who knows, man? Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, let these let these young brothers, under, like, explain what they got going on. I ain't even going to lie. And, and we got to get his mic fixed. That nigga was sounding like me in the interrogation room. That's how I would give it up. Yo, nigga, I'm telling you everything in my memory bank, okay? Yo, yo, I just seen a nigga run a red light like two days ago, my nigga. I memorized the license plate just for you. Like, yo, that, that's all I remember, man. Yo, I think he's trying to get him right type shit. Holy shit, man. Yo, Kyrie, are you, oh, is Kyrie here? Oh, we need Kyrie moving. Oh, yo, 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 move Kyrie back and forth. We gotta get Kyrie unmuted, please. Jay, oh, they didn't respond. They say, yo, check it out. He said, I see he done been whatever. 
You've been every from your streams to comments. Oh, okay. You said you've been all over the place trying to, I guess, comment on the Boss and Richie shit. He said, then they says, LOL, he funny. 10 year on a GTA. I don't know what that mean. How long does GTA cases give people? Uh, I think it's a third degree felony that's punishable by up to 10 years in Florida. You blow trial, your ass can get hit with the max. He was on probation for a robbery. Is Burr retarded? I mean, I th- is this the same one that got fucking arrested for disrupting in school and shit? The one that was like in and out his whole life. I, I you don't know this shit. I I, I talked to me he, like, well, he seemed like a street nigga, like you know, he's in the streets type shit, you know. Yeah, ask him hey. who the fuck gets six okay. months for uh robbery, grand theft motor vehicle, felon with a firearm, and grand theft of a firearm. One thing he told me is that listen, he said, "Yo, act. I'm gonna be very honest with you." Yo, Aki here. Oh, yo, yo, T-Y-M-B, Fei-Fei. What's up, bro? Yo, you live now, Fei. Fei, what's cracking, bro? What's cracking, gang? Yo, fix some fucking... I did go out. Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. Faye, what's good? This nigga needed... He got to fix them headphones, bro. Yo, Faye. Hello? Yo. Kyrie Yo. Was... Yo, what's good, Faye? Oh, what's up, my boy? Yo, I'm here, man. Like, I ain't gonna lie, man. Niggas trying to pin a case on you acting like, you know what I mean? You was in you was in there singing. Yeah, man. Act, you know, you know, everybody go around the room first. Act, you know, that food should go spray away fast and good things. You feel me? That's why we got you on here, man. We, we about to clear this bitch up. And I sent your boy Fox uh, another clip that they hear from you, too, academics. It was, oh. and it was...